hey guys welcome to the next video on scala tutorial for beginners and in this video we will learn about maps in scala now first of all what are maps so in scala map is a collection of key value pairs and the keys are unique in the map so let me give you an example so for example i want to save a student's name according to his id and let's say student uh, studies in class 8 and his uh, id starts from let's say 801 and according to this his id or, or her id id i want to save the name let's say uh, 801 is max and let's say 802 is tom and uh, let's say 803 has do dropped out of the school so we uh, have 804 and let's say uh, some name associated with this 804 id right and i want to s uh, save this kind of uh, pattern in some kind of collection so this kind of collection can be saved into a map so let me show you how uh, we declare maps and how we can use map now maps are also of two kinds one is mutable and second is immutable so by default when we declare a map let's say i will declare a map with this uh, declaration so val and then i want to uh, uh, give the name to my map so let's say my map is the name to my variable and then the map keyword so map and then we need to specify the key data type and the value data type so in this square bracket we will uh, just write the key data type in our case we want to save the student id which is a number uh, based upon his name so first of all the id has the data type int and the name has the data type string right so we will uh, just give uh, in the square bracket the first keys data type and second is the values data type right and then we will uh, just initialize a map like this so we can just write map and then we can uh, initialize a map let's say i want to give 801 id and then we use this arrow symbol and then we use let's say the name which is uh, max let's say okay so this is the first key val value pair and the second key value pair is let's say this one 802 and uh, tom let's say and the third key value pair so let me just uh, make it like this so we can see the third let's say 804 and the name associated with this id is this one okay so we have uh, three students associated to their id in the class in the same way we can add multiple number of uh, entries for student id and the name so let me just print uh, the map values first of all so i'm going to just try reuse print line for that and then uh, just run the code and you can see uh, it prints the map values like this whatever we have declared now let's say we want to access the student name whose id is 802 so what we can do is we can just write print ln and then the map name which is my map and then in these uh, parentheses you just give the key of the map so key of the map is 802 in our case right so the first uh, thing here is the keys and the names associated with them is the values so we want to uh, know the value of the map whose key is 802 let's save the code and let's run the code and it will print tom because 802 is associated with the name tom similarly we can uh, just uh, use uh, this notation so this id is not there right 803 is not there this key is not present inside the map so what will uh, happen it will throw us the exception so if 
we try to access the key which isn't present inside the map then it's going to throw an exception now what happens when i uh, just give uh, same id or same key two times so duplication of key is not possible in map so let's say i just provide 804 and 804 two times here the key two times here then it's not possible so let me just just do 801 here and let me just run the code and when i run the code you will see that there are only three id present here 801 802 and 804 even though we have uh, given four entries here but the problem here is we have given two similar keys inside the map and uh, as sets the maps key also cannot be duplicated so the keys in map should be unique okay so when you uh, just give the duplicate keys then it will take the last key value here so well, it will overwrite the last entry so you can see uh, we have given 804 two times so last entry is 804 for j u l y double y and this is shown here so the duplication of key is not possible as sets now let's say i want to uh, just uh, print out uh, the keys all the keys of my map so i can just use uh, my map dot keys right and it's going to give us uh, the keys associated with the map which are ids in our case if we want to print out all the values associated with the map then we will just say uh, my map dot values and it's going to give us the values of uh, the map which is associated with the map right and then we can also check if the map is empty or not using is empty method so let's run the code and let's see what happens so you can uh, see here that the key are 801 802 and 804 and it's a set right and we have learned in the last video that in a set all values must be unique that's why all keys in the map must be unique now for the values you can see uh, values are printed here so max tom and julie is printed here which are the values of my map and then lastly it has printed false because map is not empty now let me show you how you can iterate over the map using a for loop so you use the map name which is my map in our case and then you will just write keys which is a set and then you write for each which is going to iterate over all the keys and then instead of parenthesis we are going to use the curly brackets here and then we will uh, just write i for keys so this is or let's just say key here okay so just write key here and then this notation arrow notation and then inside the print method or print line method we are going to uh, just print the key first and then we are going to print the value so first of all we will just uh, print the key and let's print the key value and the value is print ln and as we have seen in this print line the value can be printed on the basis of key also so the value will be and then we will use the uh, key inside these parentheses which will give us the value associated with that key and let me just use uh, plus here and plus here also okay and let's run the code and let's see what happens when i run the code so you can see this is the result so first it has printed the key key is 801 and the value associated with this is max right then uh, we have the key 802 and the value associated with it and then we have the key 804 and the value associated with this so in this way you can iterate over the map using key 
and value. Now let's say we wa just want to check whether uh, some key is present inside the map or not. So we will uh, we can just use this method, which is the contain method. So map name dot contains and the key name, for example, 801, which is there inside the map. So it's going to return us true, which is this uh, one. But let's say uh, if we provide the key, which is not present inside the map, then it's going to give us false. So this contain can be used to avoid the exception. So let's say when we uh, give this kind of notation, uh, it will give us the exception, right? It gives us the exception. So to avoid this exception, we will uh, we can just use contain to check whether this is a valid key or not and then perform some operation on that key. Now let's say we want to concatenate two maps. So what we can do is I'm going to declare a second map which have the same signature and I'm going to name it as map2. And let's say we have one more student which we want to add to our uh, student list. So we can just say uh, student 805 here and then we can just give the name of uh, the student and we want to just concatenate these two maps so we can uh, just use this notation so you just use the first map and then you use double uh, plus operator or method double plus method and then you use the second method so which is my map 2 okay and it's going to give us the concatenation of uh, these two maps so let's run the code and you can see the result here, which is the concatenation of first map and the concatenation of the second map. Now, if you want to know a more method associated with maps, you can always use uh, this uh, dot operator here. And then you can just select whatever uh, method you want to use from this uh, large list. So these are the method list which are associated with map. So you can use one of them. You can see head uh, method we have used in the last video, or uh, uh, I'm sure there must be a tail method also here. And then you can see the size of the map. So let's print out the size of the map, which will give us the size of the map, which is three in our case, because uh, the map contains three key value pairs. So in this way, you can use maps in Scala. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment, subscribe and bye for now.